channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. In today's video, we will be discussing a fundamental concept of heat transfer in physics, that is convection. We will also be giving you real life examples of convection that you experience every day. Convection is the transfer of heat through the movement of fluids, both liquids and gases, from one place to another. This process occurs naturally due to the differences in density of fluid causing the warmer fluids to rise to the top and the cooler fluids to sink to the bottom. One common example of convection that we experience every day is boiling water. When we heat up a pot of water on a stove, the water temperature rises causing the molecules to gain heat energy and move faster. The hot water molecules then rise to the top due to their lower density while the colder molecules, which are denser, sink to the bottom. This constant movement creates a circular flow that transfer heat throughout the pot of water, eventually bringing the entire pot to a boil. Another example of convection is the circulation of air in a room with a heater. When you turn on the heater, it warms the air molecules around it. These air molecules rise and are replaced by cooler, denser air molecules, which are then warm up and rise themselves. This movement creates a circular flow that warms up the entire room. Understanding the principle of convection is essential for understanding the behavior of fluids, including the transfer of heat and energy. Whatever I discussed so far, it's about the natural convection. On the other hand, force convection occurs when a fluid is forced to move by an external force such as a fan or a pump. An excellent example of force convection is the cooling system in your car. Holes in the radiator allow the liquid to flow through it. The fan and the car's movement force air over the radiator. This air helps remove the heat from the fluid, which is then circulated back into the engine to keep it cool and operable. In addition to being a fundamental concept in physics, convection has practical applications in many technological processes. For example, it is used in the design of air conditioning systems to move hot and cold air throughout the building. In conclusion, convection is a vital process that we encounter every day, whether we realize it or not. By understanding the principle of convection, we can better appreciate the way the world around us works and how we can use it to improve our daily lives. So I think it's enough for today. So thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is useful for you. So take care of yourself and don't hesitate to write an email if you have any question, query, suggestion and even classes are required. Take care of yourself. Meanwhile, see you in the next video. Goodbye.